Hi YouTube, uh, this is part two of my little review of the Totally Wicked Tornado V3 starter kit, probably seen them on the website, only arrived today and up here will be a link to part one where I sort of explain about the delivery and a few other bits that you probably want to know but I'm not going to repeat so uh, at the end of this video I'll probably put the the link to it up there you may well have seen it already well what can I tell you I put it all together and uh, I tried it and nothing happened and I thought oh no I've got a faulty one you know not I thought it went against the grain really so don't often ring up people and say it don't work you know but they yeah, are I did and I explained what the problem was and what I'd done and a very nice lady at Totally Wicked explained that it doesn't say on the instructions but it turns on and off with this little button here I don't know whether you can see that my webcam is not fantastic that's the button there and turn it on and off you have to click it five times in sort of pretty quick succession right that's off at the moment oh excuse my cat come on Thomas get down boy uh, it's a nice looking bit of kit I'll put it up there you've probably seen all of this in part part one uh, I'm not sure if I've shown you the charger that's the charger it's only got a short lead on it that but you know you don't need a long lead for the charger it's probably about a foot long I guess and I charge mine via this it's like a plug it's got a USB socket on it and I only had it on charge to be fair about an hour when you first plug it in there's a little red light on the charger and after about an hour that turned green and I've been using this on and off all day absolutely fine and uh, right I better show you it working now I, I will say I don't tend to take a massive draw on these things like a lot of the other people do on YouTube you know you see them the blowing the smoke at the camera <coughs> well first off I think if you blow the smoke right at the camera you can't really see how much smoke there is or vapour let's say and uh, I didn't get this to make as much vapour as what I can I dare say there's some in the range that might produce more vapour but I mean I'm a smoker, I've been smoking roll ups and it does it for me you know the fluid I'm using is ice menthol now my opinion of it uh, it's menthol-y if anything it tastes a bit like toothpaste to be honest, not totally unpleasant you know but They've got a massive range of different flavours and I've got no doubt that at some point I'll probably try them. So let me, bearing in mind I'm new to this type of e-cigarette. I've only had the ones from the supermarkets before which are pretty naff. Let me see if I can turn this on. The light flashes a couple of times. Right, here it goes. That's plenty for me. I've got no doubt if you had better lungs and you sort of, you know, really give it a good go, you could make that real big impressive thing. But I ain't all about that. <clears throat> to be honest, it hits my throat a bit if I do that. So, I don't know. I can't really tell you much more about it. I guess I can. If you've never had one of these before yourself or never had like an e-cigarette of this type, this bit is the battery and I would imagine I would probably get a good couple of days out of that 
Whereas the one I had from a supermarket. It ever so, it, every time I wanted it, it, you know, the end would start flashing. Oh God, I've got to charge the poxy thing up now. And it would seem to take an age for it to charge up. And then I'd be out in the car and I'd be quite happily puffing away on it. And it would run out of vapour, you know. And that one, I think that one from the supermarket was 20 quid. And the little refills for it was seven ninety nine, so that's eight quid and I was buying two of them two boxes a week because some of them I just put on and they just were naff from the off well, so I hope this will be more economical for one and I did say that I would measure this in part one so I might have to quickly go and get a tape measure Hang on, I'll see if I can give you an idea. You know. Oh, it's still turned on. Hold on. Flashes when it goes on. Flashes when it goes off. I'll just show you that. It's off at the minute. Right. Yeah, that'll be on. And like I said, I think I said... You have to hold the button down when you're drawing on it. It don't tell you that in the instructions. And that was why I had to ring up Totally Wicked. So just give me a second. I'll see if I can find a tape measure. I don't know where it is. What I'll do in the description, I'll I'll put how how long it is and how big it is. So just give one more demo of it. Hold on, if I can get this thing right. Just getting used to it, you know what I say. Job done. Excuse me. I hope that's been of help to some here. And uh, I'm pleased with it. It was 24 quid, I think. If you look on the Totally Wicked website, and uh, I think it says Starter Kits, there's a few of them there. I don't know anything about the others, but I know this. I'm pretty pleased with And it's nice. I was quite surprised at the quality of it. It's a well engineered bit of kit and you do get a couple of the spare I think they're called atomizers which I'm sure won't be too hard to uh, replace when the time comes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it's been of some help, hit like for us please. Helps with the popularity of the video and all that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and uh, good luck if you order one of these. And if you've had good or bad experience with any of the products from that company, let me know. You know, because I don't want to sort of sit here giving it a big one, and then someone else come along. Oh no, you know, you want to watch out for this or watch out for that. So uh, catch you soon, guys. Maybe in a not too distant future, I'll have something else from that company to show you. Cheers. Bye.